Hello there. Welcome to the PyShine Artificial Intelligence Learning Series. Today we will learn how to detect a human face using OpenCV library in Python from a real-time web camera. We will also learn how to plot the real-time frame rate of the camera. Basically, the real-time video consists of the image frames that are shown multiple times in a second. The number of frames shown per second is known as frame rate. Artificial intelligence techniques have their own processing time. The performance of an AI algorithm highly depends on its processing duration. Some algorithms provide a very impressive short duration to process a video frame. For example, today we will use one such algorithm in the OpenCV. The trained model is in the XML file format. The name of the model is Har Cascade Frontal Face Default.xml. The input to this model is an image frame matrix. It should be noted that this image is in grayscale so the dimension of the matrix is width times height of the frame. The other input parameters play an important role in detection accuracy and processing speed as well. To simply find out the processing speed of a detection algorithm, we can find the frame rate of the output video of the processing algorithm. Before going further towards implementation, let's discuss a little bit of theory behind the Har Cascade Classifier. Object detection using Har feature-based Cascade Classifiers is an effective object detection method proposed by Paul Viola and Michael Jones in their paper, Rapid Object Detection Using a Boosted Cascade of Simple Features in 2001. It is a machine learning based approach where a cascade function is trained from a lot of positive and negative images. It is then used to detect objects in other images. Initially, the algorithm needs a lot of positive images, images of faces, and negative images, images without faces, to train the classifier. Then we need to extract features from it. For this, par features shown in the image are used. They are just like our convolutional kernel. Each feature is a single value obtained by subtracting the sum of pixels under the white rectangle from the sum of pixels under the black rectangle. The top row shows two good features. The first feature selected seems to focus on the property that the region of the eyes is often darker than the region of the nose and cheeks. The second feature selected relies on the property that the eyes are darker than the bridge of the nose but the same windows applied to cheeks or any other place is irrelevant. OpenCV provides a training method or pre-trained models that can be read using the cascade classifier load method. The pre-trained models are located in the data folder in the OpenCV installation. Let's take an example a simple face as you can see, it has two eyes as horizontal lines and a nose, and a mouse line. Let's try to find all the edge features of the shape as shown. The search window is of size 4 times 4. After this edge feature is applied to the face, it has detected the regions which have dark and wild pixels region just like below the eyes, nose, and mouth. Let's proceed with a different edge feature on the resulting image. And as you can see that after searching, the upper portion of eyes and nose is also found. Let's change the edge feature pixel values again and now we will find in the horizontal direction. The resulting image has now all the parts of eyes, nose, and mouth are now detected. This was just a very simple example to illustrate the edge features. In real images, the pixels may take values from 0 to 1. And to find delta from an edge feature of the eyebrow region, the values of all pixels are shown. On the left side, we have an ideal case of horizontal edge feature, all upper 8 pixels are 1s and all lower 8 pixels are zeros. To find the delta for this ideal case, we can subtract the average of lower region of black pixels from the upper region of white pixels. As we can see the delta is 1. On the right side we have a real image case, and to find out if the resulting delta from this image window is a horizontal edge feature, we can do the same subtraction process. If the value of delta is near to 1, we can say that this feature is a hard edge feature like the one on the left. Similarly. Other HAR features are applied to check its kind and finally we get all the HAR features. After we find all delta values we get all HAR features. Let's start the coding to detect a face using OpenCV.